Okay, uh, so we did the a cube now, we've done a rectangular prism, we've done a triangular prism, which looks like a tent, and then there's a cylinder, which uh, to find the volume of a cylinder, um, like I said before, it doesn't have to be perfect, it, you're, you're drawing it in your own way, on your own paper, uh, make it legible, make it something you can understand, and make it represent what it's supposed to represent, but it doesn't have to look like something you see on a computer or an artist draw, it just has to be your version. All right, so a cylinder. A cylinder doesn't have the same uh, types of dimensions as a prism, but it's similar. It's got a base and it's got a height, so we need to find the area of the base. That's capital B, and we need to know what the height is. This is actually a little easier than finding the surface area of a cylinder. A uh, few, few less hoops to drum, jump through. You only have to find the area of this and then multiply it times that. So we just need um, the area of the base times the height. So the area of the base of this is just uh, pi r squared, so 3.14. And just to make this easy, we'll call um, r10. Okay, so that would be times 10 squared. So the area of the base, that's 100, would be 314 squares. And then to make it easy again, we'll just make this 20. So we've got the area of the base, which is 314. You did pi r squared to get the area of the base, times the height, which we call 20. And that'd be, you just do two times 314, which is 628. and 10 times that many would be 6,280. We'll just keep using centimeters, cubic centimeters. So how many cubes? A little tougher to envision this because you would have to modify the cubes around the edges. You can only stack cubes up in the middle and they don't fit into a cylinder, obviously. So they would be trimmed uh, as they fit into a cylinder. Area of the base, which is area of that circle which is pi r squared, and then you just have to multiply it times the height. So basically you get uh, the area of one end and then you're just seeing how many layers you have. You have 20 layers. They'd be very thin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way. You'd have 20 layers stacked up. They'd each be a centimeter in height, and so you'd have 20 of those. If you had one layer, obviously, it'd just be 314 of them, but we're going to keep stacking them until we have 20 layers. And that would be 6,280 cubic centimeters. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a look at a couple of the problems and I'll come back and do a few of those with you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do number two. I've just got the Google Classroom open on my computer and I open 10.6 and I'm looking at number two. It's a right triangle on one end and it's a little thinner than that. Okay, and this is this makes this the height right here. So this height is six meters. This is eight meters. This is page one of the study guide. So at the beginning they've got all these uh, formulas that I showed you. Vol volume equals the area of the base times the height. So on this one, the, the, uh, the height is 4, which gets a little confusing because I'm sure a lot of you think this looks like the depth and this looks like the height. And you would be right about that. Um, but this is the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle. You tip this up on its end so this is the base. This becomes the height of the prism. So we need to do the volume of the base, which is 6 times 8 times a half, and then times the height, which is 4. So a half of 48 is 24. So the volume is 24 times 4. 4 times 20 is 80. 4 times 4 is 16. You get 96. And this is cubic meters, because you're taking square meters times meters or meters times meters times meters. Don't forget to cut the 6 times 8 in half. You'll do a rectangular prism like on number 1 there, 
and you don't have to do that. Number one is just 10 times 9 times 2. It's really that easy. Uh, you just multiply them all together. Number two is a triangular prism. You have to find the area of the base. So cut that in half. Then you multiply it times the height. All right, let's uh, scroll down here and I'll do one of the cylinders for you. Four, five, and six are all cylinders. And then seven says which aquarium holds more water. Uh, they've got a rectangular prism there and then a cylinder. Cylinders uh, would be stronger and they would maximize the volume for the least amount of material. So my prediction would be the cylinder, but you need to find the volume of both of those and find out. All right, let's do, uh, let's do number four. I'm going to clean the board this time. Hopefully it won't cause a problem. Number four is a cylinder on its side. Remember that dot is just an imperfection in the board. Uh, so don't worry about that. Okay, and then you've got a circle on this end. So it's a cylinder on its side. It gives you a radius of five. And this is millimeters. So that's a small circle. And this is seven millimeters for the height. So we need to do the same formula for a prism or a cylinder. Volume equals the area of the base times the height. So the area of the base is pi r squared. Um, so for capital B, we always use 3.14 for pi. Just an approximation. Close enough for our purposes times 5 squared. So that's 3.14 times 25, and I believe that's 78.5. Double check on my bone calculator here. Let's see, 25 times 3.14, 78.5. Okay, so we've got that one. And we need to multiply that times the height, which is just 7. So I'm just going to fill it in here. 78.5 times 7. I already have that open on my calculator. So I'll just do times 7. 549.5 is the volume. And that's cubic millimeters. Tiny little cubes. If you know how wide a millimeter is, probably about the width of this, less than the width of this marker tip. You know, when you use a pencil lead and it says 0.5 millimeters, that's half a millimeter. So two of those would be one. So a cubic millimeter, I'll just draw one on here, it's probably about, about this, actually about the size of my dot right here. Let's just use that, except this isn't squared, it's round. But that's about the basic area we're talking about. So this cylinder is much bigger than the actual one in the drawing, but 549.5 cubic millimeters. All right, as you scroll down for tomorrow, I know we're not going to be in school tomorrow. Uh, you can uh, try all of those, 1 through 14. There are different types of prisms and cylinders. So stay warm. It's about minus 19 right now uh, without the wind chill. So hopefully your, your house and your heaters and everything is working fine and There'll be no emergencies. So enjoy your days away from school and good luck with 10.6.